Hello everyone. Today we'll talk about IBM MQ and we'll see some of the interview questions which can be asked in any interview if you are going related to IBM MQ. So if you have this in your CV or if you can see that it is available in the JD job description. So you should prepare for IBM MQ related interview question. So let's get started. So first question that you can expect is people can ask what is IBM MQ and its responsibilities. So the answer can be so MQ stands for message queuing. IBM MQ is based on message queuing technology and enable application program to communicate with each other by sending or receiving messages across a network of similar platform using a an application programming interface called MQA. Next question can be what do you know about the message driven process? So answer can be when a message arrives on a queue they can automatically start an application using triggering. If necessary the application can be stopped when the messages or messages have been processed. What are the benefits that corporate can have through IBM Biosphere MQ? So the benefits includes is it is asynchronous in nature, it is platform independent, it is secure, it, it can be uh, easily integrated and it assured the delivery of messages. How message queue supports integration? If MQ is independent of the operating system which you use that is it may be Windows Solaris or any other operating system. It is also independent of the protocol and it is not required that both sender and receiver should be running on the same platform. On different platform also you can communicate. What do you mean by asynchronous in IBM Sphere MQ? With message queuing the exchange of message between the sending and receiving program is independent of time. The sender can continue processing without having to wait for the receiver to acknowledge the receipt of the message. The target application does not even have to be running when the message is sent from sending of the application. It can retrieve the message after it has been started. What is a message and what does it contain? A message is a string of bytes that is meaningful to the application that uses it. Messages are used to transfer information from one application program to another or between different parts of the same application. How will be the message structure in IBM Q. The application data, the content and the structure of the application data is defined by the application program that uses it. A message descriptor, the message descriptor identifies the message and contain additional control information such as the type of the message and the priority assigned to the message by sending application. Webster MQ defines the format of the message descriptor for a complete description of the message descriptor. What is queuing and queue? Queuing is the mechanism by which messages are held until application is ready uh, to process them. Q is a, an IBM MQ object to store messages which needs to be exchanged between sending and receiving end of the application. Although you can increase this to a maximum length of 100 MB where 1 MB equals to 104576 bytes. What is the maximum length of message does MQ support? The default maximum length is 4 MB. Although you can increase this to a maximum length of 100 MB. What is the difference between persistent and non-persistent messages? In, in Webster MQ, messages can be either persisted or non-persisted. Persistent messages are logged and can be retrieved in the form in the event of a Webster MQ failure. Thus, persistent messages are guaranteed to be delivered. Non-persistent messages are not logged and cannot be retrieved in the event of MQ failure. What is the effect of using persistent messages? Persistent messages are usually logged. Logging message reduces the performance of your application so use persistent message for essential data only. If the data is in a message can be discarded if the queue man manager stops or fails use a non-persistent message. What is MQ server? A WebSphere MQ server is a queue man manager that provides queuing service to one or more clients. All the WebSphere MQ objects for example queue exist only for the unique queue manager machines. A WebSphere MQ server can also support local WebSphere MQ applications. What is MQ Client? A WebSphere MQ Client is a component that allows an application running on your system to issue MQ calls to a queue manager running on another system. The output from the call is sent back to the client which passes it back to the application. What are the objects used in a WebSphere MQ? Queue Manager, Queue Queues, Queue Channel, Queue Process and Queue Names are some of the objects which is used in WebSphere MQ. Mention the number of characters required for creating names of the MQ objects. For MQ channel it is 20 characters, Q for remaining object it is 48 character. What about is the 
default port number for MQQ minus. The default port is 1414. Difference between MQSC commands and control commands. MQSC commands, these commands are used to handle the admin related function for the components that are present in the MQ series. In general, MQSC commands are used for creating and maintaining message channels, queue, man queue manager, clusters, etc. Control commands. These commands are used to manage the processes and the services. In general, these commands are used for channel listeners, channel integration, or, tr or trigger monitor, etc. Is MQSC attributes are case sensitive? MQSC commands, including their attributes, can be written in uppercase or lowercase letter, so it is not case sensitive. Object names in uh, in MQSC commands are fo are folded to uppercase. If quotation marks are not used, the object is processed with a name in the uppercase. What is the command used for starting queue manager? Str m mqm and qm name. What is the command used for stopping the queue manager? Int mqm minus w and then the qm name. The commands wait till application to be stopped completely and, and will stop the qm. What is the message code for stopping a queue manager? amq4044 queue manager stopping. What is the command used to delete the queue manager? DLT MQM QM name. Display the attributes of the queue manager QM1. Run MS MQSC QM1 display QM GR. What is a programmable command format commands? These commands are received from program for local or remote administration done by the programmers. What is queue manager in IBM WebSphere MQ? What does queue manager do? Queue Manager is the primary component of SFR MQ or WMQ. The Queue Manager is responsible for storing and routing managers to the to other queues manager within MQ and it also communicates with the outside world. What is channel in IBM MQ WebSphere? In WebSphere MQ or WMQ, Queue Manager uses channel to transmit messages to other queue manager. Channel carries one way traffic in MQ series. You can have there either sending channel or receiving channel in MQ. What is the difference between dead letter queue and backward queue in WebSphere MQ? Dead letter queue is used to store messages which is received for non existent queues. If MQ series is not able to deliver messages to a client after a pre configured attempt, WMQ moves it, this to the dead letter queue. What is triggering in IBM MQ? WebSphere MQ can start an application automatically when certain conditions on a queue are met. For example, you might want to start an application when the maximum number of messages on a queue reaches to a specified number. What is the difference between a local queue and a remote queue in WMQ? In WebSphere MQ, local queues are queues on the same queue manager, while remote queues refers to a queue on different queue manager. What are the different logging mechanism methods available? Circular and linear, these are the two methods available. In case of circular, the circular logging is used to restart recovery. It is the default logging method circular used in development and testing queues circular logging keeps all restart data in a ring for, of log files linear logging gives you both re restart recovery and media recovery it is used in production linear logging keeps the log data in a continuous sequence of files what is queue manager in ibm uh, mq what does queue manager do queue manager is the primary component of sphere mq queue manager is responsible for storing and routing messages to the other queue manager what is channel in IBM MQ? In, we, in WebSphere MQ or WMQ, Queue Manager uses the channel to transmit messages to other Queue Manager. Channel carries one way traffic in MQ series. What is the dead letter queues in IBM MQ series? Dead letter queues in WebSphere MQ is a queue which is used by the Queue Manager to archive messages for a non existent queues. For example, of Queue Manager, QMG receives a message for the queue ABC and if it doesn't exist the queue manager then message will be routed to dead letter queues. What is CCDT file in WebSphere MQ or WMQ? CCDT file or client channel definition table is a binary file that contains connection details required by the MQ clients such as Java application using JMS to connect to MQ server. In order to convert to MQ server, MQ clients need MQ server hostname, MQ server port and server channel name. All these details are encapsulated into the CCDT files. What is a sleeper in IBM WebSphere MQ? Another 
interesting and frequently asked welfare mq interview question is you can easily answer this mq question if you connect mq by ssl so ss slipper is a string used for mq clients which connects to q manager securely using q manager this is a mechanism wmq uses to identify clients in case of java or jms client slip s slipper is dn of or of client certificate stored in key store and sent to the server during ssl handshake what is the difference between dead letter queue and backward queue in welfare mq this is a follow question for previous mq interview question what is the dead letter queue in mq series as we have seen that dead letter queue is used to store messages which is which is received for non existing queues on the other hand backward queues are application specific queues if mq client is not able to process messages and ask for re delivery message is re delivered to the client with incremented delivery count once the delivery count crossed a configured threshold message is moved back out queue for later processing or error handling what is the difference between binding connection and client connection this mq interview question is not common and or frequently asked but it's good to know if mq client sits on same physical server where q manager is located then it can create connection which is relatively faster than client connection which is usually created by mq client residing on the same network but not the same host most of the application uses mq client connection to connect q manager which is easy and flexible what is the difference between a local queue and a remote queue in wmq there is a simple and fact based mq series interview question this is asked to see whether candidate similar is familiar with mq series terminology or not in westfair mq local queues are queues on the same queue manager while remote queues are refers to the queues on the different queue manager which westfair mq version have you worked on what is the latest mq westfair so you must google the latest version for anything on that is asked related to version and answer what is what you have worked on apart from webster mq have you used any other message oriented middleware mom or any other mq series provider so you can answer if you have uh, experience on active mq rabbit mq or anything like that so MQ stands for message queuing. Webster MQ allows application program to use message queuing to participate in message driven processing. Application programs can communicate across different platform by using the appropriate message queuing software products. So if you are asked what is message driven process you can answer when message arrives in a queue they can automatically start on application using triggering if necessary the application can be stopped when the message has been processed. And what are the advantages of message queue? integration asynchrony and assured delivery and scalability how does it support the integration because the mq is independent of the operating system on any operating system it can be used and it is independent of the protocol as well what is asynchrony with message queuing the exchange of message between the sending and the receiving program is independent of time you don't need to be up at the same time sender and receiver this means that sending and receiving application programs are decoupled the sender can continue processing without having to wait for the receiver to acknowledge the receipt of the message the target application does not even have to be running when the message is sent it can retrieve the message after it has been started what are the hardware and software requirements the hardware and software requirements are not much you can have 32 bit or 64 bit 4 bit operating system and the server installation can be on 50 mb it doesn't take much uh, memory as well so if you are asked what what does the message contains so you can answer uh, it contains the application data and the message descriptor so message is a string of byte that is meaningful to the application that it uses messages are used to transfer information from one application program to another or between different parts of the same application the application can be running on the same platform or on different platforms the application data the content and the structure of the application data is defined by the application programs that uses it a message descriptor the message descriptor identifies the message and contains additional control information such as the type of message and the priority assigned to the message by the sending application whereas for mq defines the format of the message descriptor for a complete description of the message descriptor what is the max length of message does mq supports the default maximum 
Master length is 4 MB, although you can increase this to a maximum length of 100 MB, where 1 MB equals 1048576 bytes. So thank you so much for watching today's video, and if you think the videos are helpful, do like the video and subscribe to the channel.